Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It is October 21st today here in Minnesota, and it's actually gorgeous, so it's like a high of 60 or 65 today. Not much wind, a lot of sun. Um, I mean, still it's chilly out, but I mean, I, I'm super warm. I got a couple hoodies on, some rain pants, some uh, long johns, some gray sweatpants. I'm good to go. Today's video, is going to be a catch and cook video. My plan is to catch a nice pike. Like, I need one over 28 inches. <clears throat> All right, anyway, so today I'm trying to shoot a catch and cook video on a pike, a good size pike. Um, I want one over 26 inches, like 28 to 30 32 somewhere around there would be like uh, uh like awesome you know when i when i because when i when i keep a pike you know we're allowed to keep 10 pike here um it's either eight under 22 inches and two over 26 so a total of 10 or you can have 10 you know under 22 inches uh so i would like to bake one i actually asked around on facebook a little bit um, I asked people, hey, you know, what's your what's your favorite pike re or you know baked pike recipe, so on and so forth, and because um, <clears throat> my grandma has one, and I I just kind of wanted to compare it to the rest of them, and I couldn't remember exactly what my grandma's recipe was or the one the recipe my my grandma used to make. She used to cook the whole thing though, um, and then after talking with my mom, she kind of informed me. She said, hey, you know cook it at like 350 degrees for about an hour use some half and half put pork sausage in there a bunch of seasoning so on and so forth so that is my plan today i am pulling around some big minnows on i have my tuned up custom rods seven foot six apex elite medium heavy action i've got a, a three ounce tungsten about four feet of 20 pound cigar fluorocarbon a number two walleye finesse wide gap hook. And I got some pretty good sized minnows, some big creek chubs. Oh, and then the, this reel. You, you guys have seen me use this rod before on a, uh, I did a musky video out in North Dakota fishing with this. This is a PC Fun Alios. I've got 50 pound braid on here, I believe. So should be good for catching pike around here. I'm just gonna be going along the weed edge here on this lake trying to catch some nice pike i'm um, you know hopefully you see three or four pike or five pike or whatever you know i don't want to catch one pike and be done but if that's what happens i mean if it's the only you know big one or only one i catch is a big one it, it is what it is so i'm going to be in that i would say 16 to 20 foot range that's about where the weed edge is and nothing honestly nothing in particular about this weed edge i've just noticed there's bait fish along the entire thing which means there's going to be you know bass northerns walleyes along this entire weed edge here so i'm just going to set the contour on here oh was that a i'm just going to set the contour on the uh graph here and we're just going to run out with the trolling motor nice and slow i want to thank my buddy mike for always letting me use his boat here now the old 2075 lund pro guide i still use my boats here and there in fact i so quick quick uh, little snippet here I shot a video the other day where I got a 15 and a half inch crappie and a 15 inch crappie it was awesome video you guys so sick I get home only like the first eight minutes of the video the audio was there the rest of the audio for the whole video is gone I got all the video but no audio I thought about putting up something with it um I don't know what are your guys' thoughts and then one more thing ah, I got this last year kind of cool fat boy musky bumper um i can who is it oh yeah muskybumper.com i got that for devil's lake pike fishing but it's going to work awesome and I mean, it goes all the way down to, to one inch measurements you can measure anything on it anyway without further ado we're gonna start running the sweet edge and see if we can get us a big pike to fillet boneless and then bake let's do it all right so got the old rod set up here just a plain lindy rig a giant creek chub see that guy 
giant creek chub through the tip of the snout like that big you know it's probably an eight inch minnow and we're just going to drag it along this weed edge and see what happens hey we got picked up on this really really big creek chub here whether we catch it or not is another thing that was a big minnow Let's see if he's still here I'd say yes. And he's gone. Got my minnow he did. Must not it must have been a smaller one. It's just like a guess. Alright, we just got picked up again. I might this is my heavy duty setup for Pike. I might switch to my my walleye Lindy. Just attempt to do like a. Let me swim in with it. Attempt to do a multi species or pick up my Lindy rig and fish a tribe with that. Let's see what happens here. Oh. Ooh. Get out of the motor. Well, whatever it is, it's stuck in the motor. No, not anymore. Oh, oh it's a little pike. Oh. <laughs> well. My pike set up, finally caught a pike. A little fella, but it's kind of what we were hoping for. And we got one. Another fish has grabbed this thing already. Yep, another fish has already grabbed this. What the heck? All right. I got this one I think anyway oh. this one's got some shoulders <laughs> oh is that a big northern finally oh it's, it's a big northern Whew. the one we've been looking for you guys oh my gosh <laughs> looking for a big northern to 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 eat bake one that'll i want to i'm looking for a northern that's going to feed like my mom me pretty much everybody and this is the one if i can get him in he crushed that red tail though look at the size of that guy that's got to be a that's got to be 30 i'm going to say 30 30 something 32, 33. Yeah, there, buddy. Oh, gosh, that's a nice fish. Oh, there we go. Ha-ha. <laughs> I got us a big pike that'll feed. That's, I'm going to say, 33 on that big fish. Let's get the old musky bumper up here and see what's crapping in. Whew. That felt good to get on the bait caster, a rod that could actually handle them. 30, 33 and a half inch fish, you guys. There we go. I was close. Picked up here. Again, fish is running. Got him, whatever it is. Whoa. I'm gonna call it already, another nice, another nice pike. Cause pike are the only thing that go crazy like this. I don't think it's not big like the other one though, I don't think, I could be wrong, I could be wrong. Oh, 
Okay, okay, it's got some shoulders. I mean, this ain't no slouch, that's for sure. Oh yeah, that's another nice fish. Look at that guy. Woo, big pike in the fall. Man, these fish, these fish pull. When they get going, there's almost no turning them around. Probably another one over 26 I'd be willing to bet. But, uh, oh, maybe not. It'd be a close one. Oh, 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 you dirty dog, you. Look at that. That fish makes a run. That seven foot six rod keeps control of them. Sorry, I'm just trying to get them in my net here, guys. There's a chunky fish. Should've brought my scale. But I'll bet that that fish is, I'm gonna say 20, Seven and a half. 28. I'm going to call it 28. Maybe it's not 27. Gosh. 26? I bet he, he's going to be close to being legal to keep if I wanted to. But I'm not keeping a second one. Yeah. 27. Oh, yeah. Look at that. 20, was he 27 and a half? I could keep him if I wanted to. Oh, 27. Yeah, 27 and a quarter is the official measurement of that pike. So that is another keepable fish. But I, I'm not going to keep this one. I only need one. And that whatever 33 and a half I caught is more than enough to be able to feed me and my parents and so on and so forth. So here we go. Another beautiful pike going back. Casted way up in there. Line hit the bottom. I literally. Oh, got him. Whatever it is. Whoa. That is way up in the weeds. Hopefully it doesn't break me off. It's head shaking like a. I don't know. I mean, it's slow head shakes like a walleye or, or a big largemouth or something. That was way up there. I mean, that was in like eight feet of water up in that we up in those weeds up there. This thing's fighting just like a. I mean, it's either a bass or a walleye. Definitely not a pike. Please be a walleye. It's, gosh, it's fighting just like a big old walleye. Oh yeah, it's a big old largemouth. Hoof da. I mean, big. Yes. Oh, jeez. The size of that freaking monster, you guys. Right up in that green cabbage. Man, I'm catching everything today or up in this lake. Oh, right in the tongue, that thing is. Boom. You were not going anywhere there, homeboy. Oh. Look at that, Woo. ladies and gentlemen, it's a freaking giant. Nineteen and three quarter inch largemouth. Anyone that bass fishes knows that a largemouth like that this time of year is all of, I would say four and a half, close to five pounds. Maybe it's, you know, I don't know. I'll, I'll say it's four and a half at least, but we're letting them go as you should let all bass go. <laughs> Trophies left and right, boys. We got a way out there fish. We cast it out 65 feet. Is this a crappie or something? It, dude, is this a big old crappie? I think it's a big old crappie on a creek chub. It is. Oh my gosh, look at this, you guys. I caught a big old crappie on this creek chub. I cast it out there. <laughs> oh, look at that. Crappie on a creek chub. I mean, this is kind of like a multi-species video, but I'm trying for, for pike here. So we're gonna call it a pike video, okay? Look at that, he ate that creek chub. That's ridiculous. Like, huh. Picked up. Just got picked up. 
casting out the back of these weeds, hoping for another big pike. And I'll take anything, but. Got whatever it is. It's acting like a pike. I think. Got some shoulders on it, whatever it is. Listen to that drag just talk. Gosh, it's almost fighting like a big walleye again now. I don't want to say I'm tired of catching walleyes because that would sound really dumb. But I really hope it's a big northern. That looked big. Oh, it's a big walleye. Cheese. What the heck? I don't I'm not complaining. But look at that. Look at this tanker. Oh, just a chunky fish. Oh my gosh, I almost got injured. <laughs> That's a beauty. Oh, I think I might have pulled something. Oh, my shoulder. Something. There he is. He's just a beaut. Oh, look at that. Chunky walleye. Oof -da. Getting bigger. 24. 24 and a quarter inch. Chunky Titanic walleye. Look at how, look at the how colorful and flawless these fish are too, might I add. Woo. Fired up. Let's go. Oh God, whatever it is. Got some shoulders on it. What do we got here? It's kind of shallow too. Big, I'm guessing big pike or a big large mouth. Mm. It was right up in those weeds. This is big. I keep thinking it's stuck in the weeds. Oh no, it's a big northern, you guys. Look at that guy coming up here. Whoa! <laughs> that's another nice one. That's probably, I'll bet that's gonna be our second biggest one today. Might even be bigger than our first one, who knows? Really nice fish. Let me get him up here. Uh, no, not bigger than our first one, but oh, there we go. Another good pike. Huh, I don't know. He's got some like irritation going on or something, but I'm going to guess, I don't know, 28 on this fish. 27 and a half on that cold water gator. Yeah, 27 and a half. There we go. Another gorgeous Minnesota pike that we could eat. Looks like something had a hold of it. I don't know what could have had a hold of it though. I mean, a, is it possible is the northern here bigger than this? Because right here, right there is definitely marked from something. But we're going to let him go. Ooh, he was spunky. <coughs> Ow, what up? So, that's kind of the, the end of the, of the catch part of the video. Going to... Well, there's my keys. Uh, going to go home. Going to clean this fish, bone this quick. And then we're going to bake it. But, right before I do, I'll show you, you know, a couple, couple rods we used today. The biggest pike came off of my seven foot six medium heavy action 
tuned up custom rod apex elite right here with that heavy reel heavy line that was fun fighting that fish on their head you know matching the fish to the rod you know was awesome it didn't it didn't have to worry about muscling me around so on and so forth um really loved it and then the last bunch of fish and the walleyes all came off the old apex pro here i did put a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader on that to match that heavier rod but i just felt i had better control up in the weeds with this rod and better better feeling so anyway the majority of these fish all came from a weed edge like i'm up in the weeds here just pitching these minnows around in the weeds catching them same thing with the walleyes um they were also you know in the weeds so anyway let's get to cleaning that fish hey what's up everybody so went straight from fishing into the kitchen here i'm not going to show how to clean this fish on video i have videos on how to flay pike boneless um i recommend doing that go watch that video i'll put this that video in this description um it's fantastic for you know and it's it's really simple i i think it's personally my favorite way to do it extremely easy to learn um yeah so i'll put that how to get these fillets in the video description here and now i'm gonna get to the video this is a recipe that um my grandma used to make i i've honestly never made it so or i actually made i haven't made it in a long time like probably i don't even know i'm gonna say 20 plus years but mm, this is what my mom told me i'm just gonna share the recipe my grandma used to make i got half a pound of pork sausage here it's it's and it's flat i've got it really super thin some really nice boneless see that boneless pike fillets i bled that fish too so look at how white that meat is you guys beautiful and this this is just like a quarter of the fish that i kept um so first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put this really thin pork sausage down in this pan here and it's a it, this is a glass pan i have it lined with tin foil okay got the pork sausage in there um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put some seasoning over this i got some johnny seasoning salt here i got some of the chicken shit and i have some this is for the top of the fish now the zesty citrus seafood rub so i sprinkled a little bit of this johnny, johnny seasoning salt over the top of the pork sausage and then i'm going to add the fish on top of that yeah all right, so I put the fish in here. I've actually made some slits in the fish to get some of these seasonings in here. Um, I also have some butter back here that we're gonna use. Butter. <clears throat> so I'm literally gonna season the top of these fish with some of this chicken shit, some of this zesty uh, seafood rub, and I'm gonna put butter on top of it. All right, there you go. I have put some seasoning on the top of it, and I'm really going to take a spoon, and I'm going to spread butter all over it, and I'm going to get that butter and these seasoning in some of these cracks. Hmm. All right, I got all the seasoning and butter in there, and then half and half. See that? I got some half and half, and I'm actually going to dump this in and around the fish to fill this up. I guess I'm only going to need one. There you go. So you don't you don't want these fish completely submerged in the half and half. You want it to where the tips are just sticking out like this. Then I'm gonna cover this in some tin foil and seal it up real nice. I, what I'd like to do is I'd like to seal the edges and wrap them, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. So I'm just gonna cover it. There we go, it is all covered. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees and I'm gonna put this in the oven for 60 to 70 minutes with between the fish and the pork sausage um it has to it has to cook for at least that long and then this fish should turn out flaky and what happens is that pork sausage cooks and the flavor of that actually soaks into the fish so we'll see you here in about an hour or so all right guys so i waited about an hour here and uh well i waited about an hour took the tin foil off the top of the top of the dish and the, the fish were done uh, I actually used a meat thermometer to check the pork to make sure it was done it's plenty done I just took the tin foil off slid it back in the oven for about 15 minutes now just to brown the top of these fish we're gonna pull it out take a look and see how it tastes 
All right, see it's brown around the edge here. The fish is done. And you know, I, I like the pork sausage additive because pork sausage is actually goes great with this fish. I'm just gonna literally cut a chunk out with the pork sausage on the bottom. All right, there we go. We got our baked pike on my 1983 plate, my favorite plate to eat off of. But it's got the pork sausage on the bottom there to add extra flavor. Um, this is gonna be fantastic, I think. Let's check her out. All right. Now, remember, you're gonna add sides or whatever you want to this. I'm not even sure what, you know, there's the pork sausage on the bottom. Oop, there we go. Pike, pork sausage, got those seasonings in between, a little bit on top of it. Hold up, there we go. Super hot. I'm gonna burn my mouth. Ah. Um, just the fish mixing with the pork sausage as you chew it up. I don't know. I mean, if you like pork sausage or any type of meat or not, but obviously if you're, I mean, I don't know. If you don't like meat, there's something wrong with you. Sorry. Just the flavor of all that mixing together, you guys, the pork sausage and the fish. Mm. Mm hmm Oh, that is so tasty. I think if, uh, like, I just made this, this dish, I think if you were to add, add a side of rice would be just a bomb maybe rice and a vegetable would complete this dish but that I think just turned out fantastic pork sausage pike pretty much is what uh, you could call it I don't know catch and cook pork sausage pike is that what I'm gonna call this anyway <clears throat> hope you guys enjoyed another video a little catch and cook uh, baked fish this time that was really good and pike is so good eating you guys it is so good it's good deep fried it's good baked like this best part you clean the bones out there's no bones everybody's like pike oh can't eat those there's too many bones not if you take them out and it is super easy i think people are just lazy and don't want to try they think it's super hard but it's really not guys a little bit of practice and you can get it figured out anyway a little catch and cook for you guys Hopefully got some more fishing videos coming out. Um, it's October 23rd today, so it's getting close. I mean, I'll probably be in the boat after November. Um, fishing and trapping. We're going to see. Maybe I'll do some trapping from the fishing boat. I don't know. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed a nice little catch and cook video. Uh, please like, subscribe. Peace out. I was angry.